Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in today's video, I'm going to change it up a little bit, and instead of categorizing uh, all the clips in the same uh, genre, so to speak, if it's assault, uh, if it's uh, sniping, going for tanks, limpet charge, today I'm going to just mix it up, and uh, that means that you're not going to have any chance of knowing what the next clip is going to involve. So, if this is something you like, or if it's something you don't like, let me know in the comment section. Any feedback is, of course, welcome. And uh, I also want to let you know that I'm taking this weekend off from streaming. Or maybe I'll stream on Sunday, actually. I'm not entirely sure. What I am sure of, however, is that there will be a limpet video very soon. Because that is something that belongs to Sundays. So now here is something that is a bit surprising when it happens. It happens, you know, once or twice a week, but it's actually my team helping me out with AA. So now, from one thing to another, um, I noticed that uh, it wasn't only me who felt like it dies, or it's almost like they're actively trying to get us yes, to am. stop playing Battlefield 1. I know it's not really uh, prestige for uh, the current... Um, employers or leadership at DICE that we play an old game made by the previous builders or the pre previous employees but um, yeah um, do you agree with this D does it seem like that with the latest server update or whatever it's almost like they made it harder and harder and harder or like they're making it harder to find good servers and the servers we do have they seem to be much more laggy I have more of these icons warning for uh, bad uh, connection and all that stuff um, even on the, the same normal European servers that I always play on at the same time they keep working on Battlefield 2042 despite this game now being more than two years old I don't even know if DICE have ever done that with a game uh, at least in the Battlefield franchise maybe they have but um, yeah I'd, I'd ask you what you think about it, but I think I already know at least the majority. Um, but again, feel free to comment in the comment section if you have anything interesting to say about it. By now, I think you are starting to understand what I'm trying to do here. Yes, you think, uh, you think you'll see a roadkill? Well, I guess that was a little bit of a giveaway there. I actually held my breath there for a moment because I didn't remember whether or not that was the moment or if maybe this was the moment. <laughs> wow. Halfway there. That could we have been have like four hand. people or something. An enemy dreadnought is en route. So yeah, I told you I'll switch it up, and here we're going from flying to killing tanks. Standard loadout for me, and that is AT grenades, um, the AT rocket gun, and the incendiary grenade. Now, there's a lot of people that ask me, why am I not using the light anti-tank grenade? And I'm a bit torn between it. The, the light anti-tank grenade is... This is probably one of the moments where it would have been better because the tank was able to drive away from my incendiary grenade. I wanted to come back to it actually. The thing about the incendiary grenade, even when you are going for tanks, is that one, it prevents tanks from repairing while they are on the fire, which is very beneficial when you're trying to uh, damage it with whatever other next gadget. But I've also been able to get quite a number of kills on infantry no. when they get out of the tank because, you know, said tank is taking damage. So there are benefits and drawbacks to both the incendiary and the light anti-tank grenade. Oh, come on, how much can you take? Not a third one, anyway. So, aside from just changing up the playstyles, switching between infantry and vehicles and all that stuff, I'm also going to sh uh, switch between longer clips and shorter clips. Here is one of the longer clips. Hope you'll enjoy it. And, uh, of course, there is a quite interesting end of this clip, for obvious reasons. 
Um, I'm leaving this for context here. I'm going PTFO here, going to B on Amien. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching. Hope you'll continue watching. And uh, I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream on my main channel. Sir, what are we doing, sir? We are losing Objective Charlie. Fight me up here. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. Sighted attack. That's a tank! We have taken objective butter. You got all the spotting you need, guys. Can I get a revive? Oh, yes, I can. There was a guy behind her. Uh, Santi. We have lost objective. After Edmund. six years of selling cars, I'm moving on to sell construction and agriculture equipment. All right. Is it within the same company? Yep. 
Special munition! Help me kill that uh, archer truck, guys. We have taken objective Edward. 